Hello there. Welcome to Doug's Den. I'm Coach Doug's, and today we have a special Throwback Thursday, 1994 Topps Finest NFL. These are high-tech professional football picture cards. I believe 1994 was the first year that Topps came out with the finest set. Very cool base cards, and there's going to be, I believe, three refractor cards uh, in this case as well, or in this box as well. If one of those refractors is Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, uh, Dan Marino, Emmett Smith, um, and it's well-centered, could go for a good amount of money once graded. Um, this box right now goes for around $200 to $225 on eBay. I'm sure that price will only go up as people like me continue to buy them and open them up. So let's go ahead without further ado. Let's see what we got here. All right. And these, I believe, like I said, I believe these are, oh, went ahead and messed with the box. We'll go ahead and do this. Well, that worked out nicely. How about that? We'll just go ahead and set that up there and hope it doesn't fall over. There we go. All right. That's how you know we do this live. All right. This is what the pack is gonna look like. Again, Topps Finest, 1994. There are, looks like there's gonna be six cards in each pack. Very cool. And I believe there's going to be one of those larger cards in here as well. Let's go ahead and take these out. And don't worry about it. There are, you are going to hear, oh, there we go. You're going to hear some uh, sticky uh, as the cards are, the cards are, you know, the refractor kind. Uh, back in the day, they really stuck together. But um, unlike the really old cards, because these are refractor, when I peel them apart, it's not going to damage the card at all. And here's that large card we got here. All right, we have a Brad Hopkins rookie star. I'll need to get some. Uh, I'll need to get some penny sleeves and uh, some top loaders for these large cards, so I can start actually taking care of them. But that is the box card we got there. Let's go ahead and open up some packs. See what we got. This is off the side. There. Again, they're they're gonna stick together, but no worries. I know with the uh, with the much older cards, that's always an issue because you're worried about peeling them apart and damaging the card. With these refractor type, we shouldn't have that big of an issue with them. They should just pop off nicely. All right, got a pretty cool card off the back. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna try and. There we go. All right, so we have a Brent Jones, a Jerry Rice, Dwayne Bickett, LaQuinton Coriant. There we go, Steve Everett, rookie card. Very cool. And a Lawrence Taylor. Man, that looks awesome. That's really good centering, too. Very cool. And uh, we'll know the refractor cards. They should be turned around, so we'll, we'll know once we run into a refractor. Marcus Allen. Oh man, these are so stuck together. Like I said, no worries. All right, we have Irving Fryer. Mark Carrier for the Bears. We have an Eric Metcalf. Wonder if there's any relation to, D, to, uh, to DJ Metcalf, DK Metcalf. All right, we have a Will Shields rookie star. Very cool.
and a Barry Word from Minnesota. All right, still looking for, I believe there's three refractors in the, uh, in the whole box. All right, we got a Mark Ripium. There we go. Warren Moon. A Rob Moore. That, hmm. I guess that's just the age of the card. Looks like there's some kind of film on there. I'm not sure if that's the age of the card or whatnot, but I don't believe it's the refractor because it is not backwards. All right, we have a, a Gary. Was it Gary Plummer? A Garrison Hurst, rookie star. And a Cornelius Bennett for the Bills. There's some cool, cool cards. And I believe when these came out, like I said, I think these are the, the first uh, like refractor type cards that came out by Tops. And I believe that when I read, they were something about $5 a pack. So even back in 1994, they were going for a good amount of money. All right, there we go. There's a Jim Kelly, Buffalo Bills. We have a Thurman Thomas. Another, another one that has sort of a film to it, but still a cool card. The Nick Lowry. A Flipper Anderson. There we go. Roosevelt Potts, rookie star for Indianapolis. And a Ronnie Lott for the New York Jets. Nineteen ninety four would have been just a, a year prior to when I got into the NFL when the Jaguars came in. So there's going to be some of these guys I probably do not remember. We have a Vaughn Johnson, there we go. We have a Joe Montana, Kansas City. Make sure it, yep, that's it. All right. We have a Steve McMichael. A Gary Clark. Terry Kirby, rookie star. And Anthony Carter. And I believe Jerome Bettis, uh, even though he was, I believe, 93, um, these cards still will have him listed as like a rookie star card. Well, let's see if we can find one of those. All right, we have a Craig Hayward. Chris Burkett. Quentin Coriat. Ernest Givens. There we go. Steve Everett, rookie star. This time in normal size. Usually I would be Kind of worried about these, but like I said, with these refractor cards or chrome cards, doesn't look to be any kind of issue. 
Very cool. Ray Crockett. Very cool card. All right, still looking for those three refractor cards. Still looking for uh, Emmett Smith, Dan Marino, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, Jerome Bettis. All right, we have a Pepper Johnson. Chris Carter. Leslie O'Neill. Terrell Buckley. There we go. James Trapp, rookie star. And Andre Tippett. All right. Still looking for three refractor cards. Leonard White, Mark Jackson, Eric Metcalf again, getting some doubles now, Johnny Mitchell, Wheel Shields, rookie star. And Eric, is that Pegram? Eric Pegram. All right. Still looking for those three refractors. Like I said, we should know them. If I did my research correctly, we should know them because they will be facing the other way compared to the other cards. They're not a... They don't have any logo or distinction on the back that lets you know they're refractors. All right, we have a, a Jerry Rice. Ethan Heighton. Russell Maryland. Art Monk, Michael Barrow, rookie star for the Oilers, and Reggie Langhorn. All right, that's it for that pack. Still looking for uh, Dan Marino, Emmett Smith, Jerome Bettis, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Vinny Testaverde. I remember him. Craig Hayward. Steve Atwater. Oh, look at there. There we go. Brett Favre. In his Green Bay gear. All right. Uh, how about that? A Drew Bledsoe. Rookie card. Very cool. And a Jim Everett. Man, these are cool cards. All right, still looking for the three refractors. Got a few more packs left. Looks to be we're about, we're about halfway done now. Irving Fryer. There we go. Dan Marino. Very cool. 
Neil Anderson. Leonard Russell. Roosevelt Potts. I believe we've had him before, so that might be another double. And then Johnny Holland. All right, so still on the lookout for the refractors, but got a pretty cool Dan Marino card in that pack. And it looks to be in pretty good condition as far as centering and everything, centering and everything goes. So very cool. We'll have to get that sleeved up. All right. All right, we have a Marco Coleman. Monte Coleman. I wonder if there's any relation there. David Klingler for the Bengals. All right, we have a Neil Smith. John Copeland, rookie star. And a Greg Townsend. All right, still looking for a Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, Emmett Smith. That's what we got. Still have those three refractors as well. All right, we have, what is this? Myron Guton or My Myron Guyton. Have a, another Vinny Testaverde. Gary Plummer. There we go. Howie Long. Very cool. Garrison Hurst, rookie. And John Orfendahl for the Dolphins. All right. Still looking for those three refractors. they got to be in here somewhere. Well, they don't have to be. Hopefully they are. All right. We have a Jerry Rice. Looks like there's another one under there. Myron Guyton, again. A Daryl Green. Oh, man, I saw the line. Thought, thought it might be Barry. Chris Spielman. Another Will Shields. And a Richmond Webb. All right, got about probably about ten packs left, I'd say. All right, we have a Michael Jackson. Another Marco Coleman. Starting to get a few doubles here. Terrell Buckley. Tim Crumry. James Trapp, rookie. And Lomas Brown. He looks happy. <laughs> We have a Vaughn Johnson. Another Michael Jackson.
There we go. Jackie Slater. Eric Green. Another Garrison Hurst. It might be the third or fourth one of the, that card I got. And Pierce Holt. All right, so it looks like there's some rookie cards that you're just going to get multiples, multiples of. So far, we just have the Dan Marino card and a couple other cool cards, but no refractors yet. There we go. We have Chris Burkett. All right, there's another Jim Kelly. It's our second Jim Kelly. Art Monk. Jeff George for the Colts. Another Michael Barrow, rookie star. And a Cortez Kennedy for the Seahawks. All right. Only seven more packs left. Still looking for those three refractors. Oh, there we go. There's a Morton Anderson. I have him to thank for the Jaguars going to the playoffs in 1996. With a Brent Jones, Clay Matthews, for the Browns, Andre Reed, another James Trapp rookie card, and Harold Green. All right, six more cars, six more packs. Really hoping we got a good box here and there's going to be those three refractors. Not that would be very upsetting, but you, you live with it. So we have a Mark Jackson. A Vaughn Johnson. Leonard Russell. Kevin Ross. Another Roosevelt Potts rookie. And a Lewis Sharp. All right. What are the odds that the three refractors are in the last five packs? Starting to get a little nervous. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's not three. Maybe there's only one. But let's, let's find out. All right. We have Ken Harvey. Another Morton Anderson, Albert Lewis, Brian Blades, another Tony Kirby, rookie star card, and a Jesse Hester. All right. Four more packs. Let's see what we can get. All right, oh, there we go. Junior Seau. Very cool. Lorenzo White. Okay, so that's not turned around, but that looks 
very different than the other ones. So I think this might be a refractor of Calvin Williams. I don't believe the other cards have that same shine. No, definitely don't. All right, so there's at least one refractor, Calvin Williams. Surprised it's not turned around, but let's put that off to the side and hold on to that. All right, we have a Wade Wilson. Another Steve Everett rookie. And a Eric Martin. All right, three more packs. Let's see if that is the only refractor we're going to have in this box or not. All right, we have a Chris Carter. Marcus Allen. Anthony Miller. Steve Atwater. Michael Barrow, another rookie, Michael Barrow. And Don, is it BB? BB? All right, two more packs. If there's not a refractor in there. It must have only been one per box. Still, would be cool to get a Barry Sanders or a Jerome Bettis or Emmett Smith. Even if it's not a refractor. All right, we have Ethan Horton. Ken Harvey, Ken Norton, David Klingler, another Roosevelt Potts. Man, that must be five or six Roosevelt Potts I have. And Charles Haley. All right, so it's looking like that's only going to be the one refractor we get will be that Calvin Williams. But still can get Emmett, Dion, Barry, Jerome, somebody. Let's see what we got here. All right, Michael Jackson. Another junior sale. Edgar Bennett. I believe he's an FSU guy. I believe him and Leroy Butler. Steve McMichael. Another Terry Kirby. Rookie. And final card is a Mike Johnson. All right. So that was 1994 Topps Finest. Not sure if those were the finest cards, but... Got a cool refractor, Calvin Williams here. It's a little off-center, but still a pretty cool card, Calvin Williams. And then we did find this Dan Marino. So, hey, those are, you know, those are the breaks. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and uh, I believe on this box we may have lost. But, hey, there's just one less box out there for the breakers, which means the price should still go up of those boxes. So, all right, that is the Thursday throwback for Doug's Den. Thanks for joining. Y'all are always welcome to join. See you guys next time on Doug's Den. Doug's out.